Well, the week of wild weather continues as we look at what's going on in the upper levels of the atmosphere. Some much colder air aloft is spinning here across the Ohio Valley. That's going to continue to sort of meander over the next couple of days. And as we see these steeper lapse rates, also we're seeing a lot of moisture coming coming in from the Atlantic into parts of the Northeast, a lot of wind shear around this. So the risk of some severe weather going up as this upper low, it's really cut off from the main flow which is moving across most of Canada now because there's not a driving force or any kind of momentum. This isn't going to go anywhere. Underneath this, it's going to be cold and damp today. Things do start to change, though, as we head through the rest of the week. And there's another cutoff low across Southern California that continues to meander across this part of the country. This one is slowly, though, moving to the east. We'll see conditions improve across the southwest. It'll start to get warm again. But we're going to cool off across Texas, Oklahoma, and the Plains states. With these systems, we're expecting severe weather today tomorrow and into Tuesday too. Today we're looking at the Mid-Atlantic from Pennsylvania, Ohio, West Virginia, Virginia, down to the Carolinas, even down to the Southeast Coast, and then across the Southwest. It's going to get windy here too. We're going to see the winds really increase tomorrow, but some severe weather across West Texas and New Mexico. Today's tornado threat, not zero, but it's going to be there. In a modestly sheared environment, I guess, there is a chance of a few spin-up tornadoes from Pennsylvania, all the way south into Florida, and then across parts of New Mexico. Tomorrow, that severe risk is still going to be across the northeast as that low spins here with that onshore flow. These bands of thunderstorms will form, especially into the afternoon, and then the storms move east into Texas, and then into Wednesday, or Tuesday rather, the risk starts to increase across east and southeast Texas for severe thunderstorms. Now, pretty much all week, strong damaging winds, hail possible, and with the with the wind shear that we're seeing, Again, not a super high risk here into the Northeast, but into the Mid-Atlantic, maybe into Pennsylvania, Virginia, down into Maryland, and into the Carolinas with that change of wind direction with height as we head through the overnight into tomorrow, maybe a few strong thunderstorms. And you can see this; these are wind fields at about, I don't know, 500 millibars, so go up into the middle levels of the atmosphere. And you get the idea. Everything's circulating around this cold core of air, which finally starts to lift out, and we change our weather outlook as we head toward the middle part of the week here's where we are today cool and damp across ohio also indiana illinois now we will see a little bit more sunshine across eastern ohio i think that leads to more thunderstorm activity as we head into the afternoon and evening hours again cold air aloft here once we get things popping if we can do that if we can see some sunshine some of these storms especially here across West Pennsylvania, far eastern Ohio, uh, over into the other parts of Pennsylvania. Some of them could get on the strong to severe side. And then that cold meandering low still spinning back across the Ohio Valley heading into Monday with more storms firing up as we head into Monday afternoon and early Tuesday morning. Heavy rain possible across the northeast with this strong onshore flow. That continues all the way through really Tuesday You can see everything, again, pinwheeling around this low. And on the back side of it, this is where it's going to be a little bit chilly back in here with temperatures below average. Uh, Today, in fact, it's going to be pretty cold. I mean, these will likely be your afternoon temperatures in the upper 40s. Some areas may be stuck in the lower to mid 40s. Tonight, another cool night. Temperatures won't change much. Uh, Not a lot of temperature swings with all the moisture in the air. And tomorrow, that cool air, that pocket of chilly air drops a little bit further to the south. We may be actually warmer further north into Indiana and northern Ohio and Michigan if we can see the sunshine compared to the bluegrass state down into Kentucky where we we may be stuck in the the 40s. So it's a pretty chilly weather on the way. Further to the west we go, some of this retrograding moving back west across Illinois and Indiana back into Missouri, but otherwise we're dry across the central United States. Showers and storms across West Texas, also into New Mexico. High mountain snow. The San Juan's going to get some snow out of this further north into Wyoming, Montana. Get up in elevation. We could see some decent snow accumulation, several inches possible, especially as we head into Monday night and Tuesday as this low really gets ramped up and going here. That's some heavy snow into Wyoming, and now our heavy rain threat pushes east. There's a significant risk, I think, of flooding as we head into really Monday and Tuesday across Texas and Oklahoma. This is just a a surge of moisture moving north, and really things are going to be changing compared to what we're seeing today. So just get ready for that now. Temperatures really mild and spring-like, arguably summer-like across parts of the Dakotas where we're in the mid-80s in some cases, so very warm here. A little bit breezy today, especially the further west you go across parts of West Texas and New Mexico, but the trend will be heading into Monday a little bit windier for everybody, at least in this region. 
breezier, I should say. Certainly not off the chart. We've seen much windier conditions this spring so far. And then across the west, very unsettled here with rain and snow still going into the Sierras, down into Southern California, Northern Arizona, some snow into the higher elevations of Northern Arizona, get up towards Flagstaff up into the mountains, nine, 10,000 feet, some decent snow falling. And then there's that heavy snow up into Wyoming, ramping up again here into Colorado as we head into Monday night and Tuesday as that low swings east. Then we start to see things dry out across a good chunk of the Rockies. We will see a few showers across the Pacific Northwest, but the overall trend I think this week will, as we move toward the weekend, would be for drier conditions as a ridge builds across most of the West with a few showers possible. Colorado, New Mexico, maybe into Kansas and Oklahoma and Texas. Temperatures across the West, chilly into the mountains. I mean, even into the deserts, we're still in the 70s. But as we move through the week, you know, I'm going to take you out through maybe what? Let's take you all the way to Thursday. We're back up into the 90s, into the deserts, even places like Flagstaff, well into the 60s and 70s, and even warmer as we head into Friday, where we could be looking at triple-digit heat into the deserts by this time period. So some warmer weather on the way for sure uh, after a, a significantly chilly pattern. We didn't talk about temperatures too much further into the north and east. We kind of looked at the Great Lakes. We talked about that cold air here. But, you know, it's going to be a little bit chilly as well, especially across northern parts of New England. 40s and 50s as we head into the afternoon and evening. Some really chilly air up into Canada trying to work in. But this is cool. High temperatures across Massachusetts and Vermont, New Hampshire in the 40s and 50s. Although we're warming up nicely here in the mid-Atlantic just about every day up into the 60s and 70s. But as that cold pocket of air moves aloft, we'll knock those back closer to 70 versus into the upper 70s and close to 80 and a little bit chilly by the time we get toward the end of the week for a good chunk of the northeast into the 50s and then into the south i mean it's just pretty hot here across a lot of the southeast temperatures i mean today not looking too bad a lot of 70s and 80s there's that cool cool pocket of air across kentucky and tennessee but along the gulf coast states into florida some cool air does try to push south but i mean it's may so that strong may sun starting to pick up And into Florida, by the time we get to Tuesday, we're baking back into the 90s. All right, that's a quick look at what's going on around the country today into the next couple of days. Let's go beyond this into the rest of the week. Low pressure again in the mid-levels and also back here, that cold core of air moves east. We start to see the showers back off across the Ohio Valley. Warmer temperatures by the time we get to Wednesday. That upper low across the southwest pivots east and it continues to move across the Gulf Coast states. That's going to bring showers, thunderstorms. You know, any of these days we could see some severe storms with that cold air aloft and the instability. It does start to modify some as we head toward Thursday and Friday, but we keep the shower threat, I think, all the way through the week, especially across the Gulf Coast states. Again, drier across the west with the ridge of high pressure building in. And then we'll watch this. This is looking interesting. It could lead to some cool conditions across the northeast, maybe a little bit showery too. And we're drying out across the Great Lakes as we get toward a Thursday and Friday as cool Canadian high pressure builds in. That's just a quick look there for the rest of the week. If you're brand new to the channel, I hope you'll consider coming back and subscribing. I'm Travis. I used to be a chief meteorologist years ago on TV. So if you're looking for a weather source, I hope you'll come back. All right. Have a great Sunday. See you next time.